Well, hello there, YouTube. My name is Tony, and this is Tony Live TV. And in this video, I hope to answer some questions. My car won't start. Um, a rough idle, or a high idle, a low idle. Um, it sputters, uh, or it just doesn't start at all. And you're thinking that maybe it's the fuel distributor. So if you've determined it's the fuel distributor, then you have to decide which way you want to go. Are you going to go ahead and rebuild it yourself? You're going to make your own flow meters and all those kinds of things to, to test it? Or have theirs rebuilt? And that's exactly what I did. I just got it back. So today, maybe I can answer that question on whether or not you should send it out to have it rebuilt especially by Flowtech, you know, because I just got it. So let's open this up. They said it was going to take 10 to 13 weeks, right? So I planned my vacation, really. I was getting away from the heat, and I planned it, and I wasn't even going to be back yet. I, I only came back because my daughter is also going on a trip, and she needs her cats taken care of. This only took about six weeks, the total time from the date they received it and the date they invoiced me and they immediately shipped it once I paid it. That's one good thing. They're gonna tell me what to do. Um, I'm guessing these are all mine. They packaged it differently than I did, if you guys remember how I packaged it. Yeah, they just stuck it in there and let it sit right on that piston. They didn't even care. They didn't take quite as much precaution as I did. With Remember, I put a little cone on there and everything to protect us from going in and out and all that. So they do not put these on. We need to put them on. This bag is saturated with mineral spirits. The piston freely moves because there's something I really want to measure, guys. And that is the distance Man, they scarred the hell out of the top of this, it looks like. You know, one good thing is, is that they didn't paint it. You guys know how much I hate paint. I'm really curious if I can get a measurement now that they did that. So I read through all their documentation, and one thing to point out is that they said you need to have one to three millimeters in the airflow sensor plate. Uh, you know, I did a video on that, so if you guys want to check out that video, you can. What I really wanted to take a look at is how does this differ from where things were? This is an overlay. Can you see that overlay? Well, you can see right here that the control nut's in a different position. I know that. Uh, but other than that, everything else looks the same. But that's what I was wondering. You know, what is their initial setting? So that's how it looked the day that I sent it. Right? You can see my fingers are under that. That's how it was sent. If I were to overlay that, this is where it is. And when I did it, there's a video for that when I changed the O-ring right here, renewing the sealing ring for the control piston. I did exactly what the instructions said. It said, take a measurement before you remove that and put it back exactly the same way. This is the actual Bosch instructions. And what they say, it's 0.6 millimeter. That's what they say is the basic starting position. While I measure this, I'll throw up some pictures here around that control nut, or actually the, the actual nut itself that, that, that holds everything. And here I've zeroed this out. You know, I'm gonna try to find the place that doesn't look like it's been damaged by them. And then we'll read it. 0.27. Let's go ahead and see if we can duplicate that. Zero, 0.29. And when I removed it according to the instructions, take the exact measurement and then you put it back the exact same way. And I did, I even used that green little line in there to make sure that that's where it was. And I was in the exact same position. So now you can see that this does not really match the manual. And this is from CISJetronics.com. And they tell you right there, you know, a starting point. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that they did anything wrong, right? All I'm going to say is that it's this, that's not the measurement. So now you know what they have, and, you know, they damaged some of this. I don't like that. It doesn't really make any difference because it's just the height of this control piston. That's what matters. If they've calibrated that correctly, you know, obviously it's probably not calibrated for my vehicle. We'll have to see. I should point out that 
they're going to remove all of these from your fuel distributor so you should probably just remove it ahead of time because you're going to need to replace all these crush washers all right so i'm i'm going to order it i've got the one for the for the filter but i don't have the other ones because i've already crushed them so i will have to order that and then once those things come in i'm going to install that fuel distributor so here are the pros and cons so far first quick turnaround two they didn't paint it. Three. So far, there's no three. So let's look at the cons. The cons are damage, right? We got a lot of damage. I mean, here's some pictures of the damage. A lot of damage. Besides the damage, you know, why no crush washers, right? They took it all apart and just gave you your old crush washers back. Now, you know, it makes a delay on our end. If they buy in bulk, they get it really cheap. You know, give me, charge me another 10 bucks. That's what I say. You know, so far I'm concerned with a couple of things. You know, one, the position of that control ring, right? Uh, it discrepancies against what everybody else would tell you. CISJetronics.com says, you know, a good starting point is 0.6. Of course, they also recommend, like the manual says, to take measurement beforehand and put it in the same position. So, but they put it on a bench and everything. Supposedly, that's what they did. Here's a before and after. You know, again, my concern is the damage, you know, and, and why the damage? This is the day that I packaged this and sent it off to them, and this is today. You can't see a lot of damage from here, of course, but in these pictures, you can certainly see the damage. So what did this cost? Well, here's the actual invoice. This is exactly what I paid. So here it is in September 2024, and that is my total price that I paid. Of course, I had to ship it to them. So those were my concerns, really, after what we just did today. You know, and as a matter of fact, when I was thinking about summing this up, you know, you know how I am? Yeah, I sent them an email. And then this is the email that I sent them. Uh, you can take a snapshot of that and read it. Uh, later, but basically it's just saying the same thing I just said. I'm concerned with the depth of that piston and the damage uh, that was done and why. You know, I'd like an explanation for that. So now that leads us to uh, actually the pros number three. We have a pros number three because I just got an email like just now. I just received an email from them and here's their answer. So basically they're just saying, you know, okay, this is uh, why and this is the reason for the damage on there. But look, if you've got a show car or whatever, and you want us to change that out, ship it back to us and we'll do it free of charge. Um, I can't believe the customer response. You know, first off, they were quick, a fast turnaround. They didn't paint it, which is another thing I like. And then they uh, said the reason why. You know, I sent them pictures and everything. So they know exactly the reason why. So that's uh, basically it. And now I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna ask you guys, do I send this thing back? I mean, here's the pictures. You know, by looking at these pictures, would you be concerned with this? Now, according to their email, it's all been flow tested. Uh, everything is done and ready to go, right out of the box. To me, it won't affect anything as long as everything else is done properly. That's why you guys gotta stay tuned because the next video, I believe, will be the installation of this. You guys tell me. Uh, I would love to hear that in the comments down below what your experience has been with Flowtech. So far, my experience has been pretty good. Uh, other than, you know, you could have taken a little bit more care. I, I've seen other guys do it online. There's no reason for that. All right, until the next one, thanks again for watching.